This morning, Google and a group of other advertising companies are facing some pretty tough criticism. They're accused of bypassing privacy settings on a number of iPhones to monitor what customers are searching for. According to the Wall Street Journal, Google had been using a special computer code to trick Apple's web browser into letting them monitor many of those users. The journal reports that Google was even tracking people who had tried to turn off those monitoring settings on their phones. And joining us now to talk about that on Good Day is our tech expert, Hap Aziz. Always great to see you, Hap. Thanks for coming in. Good morning. All right, so I think maybe what's most disturbing about this story is that really nothing was done about it until the Wall Street Journal said, hey, we found out about this. What are you guys up to? Well, that's right. I think uh, Google and the other advertisers, they're trying to push the envelope and get away with as much as they can. Technically, it wasn't a, an invasion of privacy. They weren't capturing privacy data, but they were following users' behaviors, and that can tell you a lot about what a user does in private, which, you know, on the user's perspective, that is a privacy invasion. Sure, and then what would they then use this information for? Well, it's primarily for advertising, and really it comes down to how we might monitor or how companies monitor what users spend their money on so they can better target for advertising that shows up when you're on your web browser. The ads that you typically see on your browser are not really random, but they're targeted to your particular behavior. All right, so Google's saying basically, sorry, uh, you know, we weren't intentioning, in, intending to do anything wrong. They're saying they're stressing that the, these advertising cookies don't actually collect any personal information. They're now saying they're not going to do it anymore, but how do you prevent any of these companies from doing this and, and tracking what you're up to? Well, the thing that I always recommend is manually go in and remove the cookies after every session. It's a, um, it, it can be a hassle to do so, but that's the only way that I, I personally feel safe. Every browser has a way to manually get into the settings and clear the cookies out of the cache of your browser. All right, if you can't figure it out, just Google it, right? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Terrible. Happy to see you. It's always great to see you. Thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you.